Hey guys, I just want to talk about um the issues that I've dealt with um regarding self-hate and also its opposite self-love um basically it's it's hard for a person like me because I'm in a wheelchair to really have a healthy sense of self love or uh, um you know one that that isn't self hatred and also isn't narcissism um and honestly i feel like the 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 discourse and the rhetoric in like disabled spaces most often just tells people to to go all out and say oh i'm so proud of being disabled and i'm not going to let anyone tell me this and that i think honestly sometimes that goes a little too far because you can become narcissistic and like you guys know that i've always to the best of my ability try to be real with you about what my situation is like right i'm not going to sit here and pretend that uh, i'm like super duper proud to be disabled or something like that and do i have some pride yeah because i've overcome a lot of a lot of odds and i've um conquered a lot of stuff i'm eventually in like a year and a half i'll be the most educated person in my family and i know formal education isn't everything but still for a person they said was basically going to be able to do nothing but lay in a bed all day i think what it represents is is very special anyway um yeah so honestly i've i've deeply hated myself for since i was 10 years old that's also um the the first time i had thoughts about unaliving myself um and it was really just because i was i felt so worthless and um like because i don't know i was living in my brother's shadow like my older brother i love him so much he's helped me through so so much um but i have to be honest when i was younger not anymore not anymore my uh self hatred has more now to do with things that are more internal to me about my personality um but back then i was jealous that my brother was smarter than than i am uh and i felt like the black sheep because i wanted to be recognized for how smart i thought i was and i i wasn't comfortable with um with um the idea that you know not everyone is the same and that's that's fine and intelligence is one of those things and like my my brother went to harvard and everything and and he's had published a book and he did all of this stuff and I'm so proud of him right but I have to be honest when I was younger I I was jealous of him quite a bit um but yeah but also 
I, I just never really felt like I fit in, so that was also a contributing factor, um, now, I mean, I was able to keep it at bay, for sure, part of that was because I did believe in God back then, and, uh, having faith gave me the strength, so, uh, something that I've had to go without, like, I, mentioned in one of my previous, in, I think my, the video directly before this one is that, like, um, yeah, I was, I was so devoutly religious, and I had faith, and it kept me from hating myself for a while, but then, in middle school, I really self-corrected, and became, kind of a narcissistic, uh, butthole, and, so, yeah, I've just always been either, I, I hated myself too much, or I love myself too much, there, I was at extremes, uh, and honestly, I've never, ever been able to, to fully get out of it, I still, hate myself quite a bit, um, I, um, it's, it's just that, like, I, I really feel like I should be doing more than I am right now, I know in context it's a little different, my situation makes things different for sure, but, like, it, Sometimes I, I know things take time, but it sometimes feels like, you know, you do so much and yet nothing changes despite how, how much you try. And that's why I'm sympathetic. I know I've talked about people taking, especially, uh, certain, or both genders taking responsibility, I'm not saying that isn't a part of it, but stuff like that is why I'm so sympathetic to, um, solutions to cultural and social political problems, which are based around addressing systemic issues, because Honestly, let, let's face it, you can do everything right and still lose, and, um, just with the way everything is, like, I know a lot of it isn't my fault, but still, man, it's just so disheartening, and then, now, I've been, um, trying to, change this aspect, because it is something which is within my control, but men's, a lot of men's value, both to men and women, is how successful they are with, with women, and so, like, and as you guys know, I've never been really successful in that realm, and so, I've had to sort of unlearn, uh, attaching my value, so much of my value as a human being to that, and, um, you know, I've, I've talked about how a serious consideration of the gospel and reading a lot more theology has helped me with that, despite my, my state of non, non-belief, um, so, so, yeah, and a lot of it, too, honestly, I think is genetic, because my father faced similar issues when he was younger, um, he also, <clears throat> my, my father was, um, very chubby, and, um, he was very insecure about it, though, and he really hated himself, but he hated 
by outwardly pretending to be happy and being funny and uh so that's how he he um that that's how he managed to at least fake self love um and honestly um he had a lot of of other stuff going on with him as well like he was um brown but and all his uh but my grandparents even though they were mixed his parents they were white passing so you know and they were part of the like i said upper middle class to lower upper class and in guatemala uh which is a colorist society it is basically over for you if that happens i mean that's it's rare that that will happen but speaking evolutionarily there is a chance that that will happen like for example i i don't think i'll ever have kids but if i um have have kids um like th there is a chance even if i marry another like light skin or white person that my child will be brown because my my dad is brown um so so yeah no but he hated himself for that because um others judged him harshly for it and he just kind of always had a melancholic disposition another thing is that like I I know it comes from a good place but a lot of my family members are are judgmental towards me and uh they like I know it's because they they want me to have high expectations of myself but it's just so much pressure in addition to what all my family had accomplished and and all of this other stuff in Guatemala I feel like a lot of pressure is on me um anyway anyway um I just wanted to get on here and and talk about that because I think it's a good compliment to um one of the first videos that I put out on here when I started regularly posting uh, which is well uh, when I talked about like why I felt like a loser oh uh, okay bye see you guys